Hey girls, um, it's Friday. I think it's like almost three o'clock. Um, I don't know. I kind of just thought I hadn't done a vlog for a while. I would start a vlog and just see where it goes. <laughs> I've been pretty, I don't want to say lazy, but I got up this morning. Ron and I went to yoga. I got back. I took a shower. I washed my hair. I just like didn't curl it yet. I think I'm going to wait to curl it tomorrow. Um, and I made myself a smoothie and it was like 11 something. And I'm like, Oh, you know, I'm going to plan my day, be so productive. I need to plan out like content really for like the next month, like the Nordstrom sales coming up, Amazon prime days coming up. I'm going to be going to Fort Myers for a week. Um, and just whatever. And then all of a sudden it was like, it was what three hours later <laughs> but I did have to like um, be on the phone for my clinic that took up some time I had to talk to my dad because we're going to a baseball game tomorrow I had to plan that out so but it just felt like hours got away from me and I hadn't even like gotten ready <laughs> so I made myself put some makeup on I literally just have this messy bum that's falling out um, and I'm like I'll just start a vlog I, um, so yeah, Ron and I usually go out Fridays. We usually go out to happy hour to this restaurant called pickled, but I don't think we're going tonight because, um, I'm just not really up for drinking. I'm kind of wanting to take like a couple weeks off from drinking. So I told him like, let's just walk down to taco dive. Um, which is just, it's like a local chain that has, like tacos, that kind of stuff. And Ron, um, on Friday, they have like a taco of the day. So he usually likes to get that for lunch, but he's not here today because he went to the office. So like, let's just do that for dinner. So it's really all of my plans for the rest of the day is to just go to Taco Dive. Um, and I don't really have, I posted a couple like try-ons, like what's new in my wardrobes lately. So I don't, like ha the only package I have to open up is this one package from Abercrombie that I had an Abercrombie try and go like live today. Like it's Friday, like not today for you guys. And, um, this one piece was missing cause it was just shipped separately. So I figured I could at least open this up with you girls and try it on. I know what it is. Um, it's a white romper. They, I think they, I think this is the traveler romper. You know how Abercrombie has like the traveler dresses, traveler dresses, like different ones, which I do have a couple of. This is the traveler romper. I didn't, last I checked, it's available in black and white, and I decided to get it in the white. Um, and I, I did already get a question on Instagram, like if it was see, like hoping it's not see through. I can't tell. I mean, it might be. You know what? It has the material. So the material is the same as the traveler dress, but the dresses are completely lined because they have the built-in shorts and they have this like complete lining underneath. So um, where this doesn't, this kind of feels like something you would throw over a bathing suit and not necessarily by itself, but I'll go ahead and try it on for you girls and we'll see. I got it in a small, it's pretty wrinkled just coming right out of the bag, but it's got an elastic waist drawstring. It has adjustable straps in the back and yeah. But yeah, that's the only package. Usually as packages come in for the week, I like put them over here in this corner. Right now I have... I think that's like a pile of things that I need to like return or post on Poshmark. And then this is just one of my favorite Abercrombie sweatshirts. It's so hard to keep, keep this room neat because I'm constantly changing for videos between Instagram and YouTube. And I can't wait to eventually have a separate room just for filming, but that day is still yet to be determined. <laughs> We are making some headway on the house, but I'll share more once things are like definite and things are signed because it's just been so much the last year of like excitement and then 
oh bummer and then yay and then oh no so I won't bore you guys with that stuff all right let's go ahead and I'll show you girls what I'm wearing right now because it's from Abercrombie and then I will try on this romper. So right now I'm just wearing this square neck crop top. It's by Abercrombie's Your Personal Best Line. It does have removable cups so that you can basically just wear it by yourself. There'd be no need to put any bra underneath it. I'm wearing it in a small. And then these are the Abercrombie Sunday Joggers. I have these in green. I love them. I have them in a small and you can see like they're really, really baggy. I probably could do an extra small, but I didn't see the point because when you wear joggers like this, you want them to be cozy. You want them to be comfortable. You want to just be able to sit and move around and not feel like anything is restricting so I love these I constantly look to see if there are other colors in my size but last time I looked it just seemed like they had such limited sizing but if you haven't picked up these joggers yet I would definitely look in to see if they have your size and because of how big they are I mean you could try two true size or sizing down one um, like depending on what's available but let's put this romper on. here is the romper it also has pockets if I didn't say that before but my first impression is that I really like it yes it's thin and lightweight but I don't feel like when I look in the mirror I don't feel like it's see-through I just went and put my nipple covers on just because the straps in the back you could do a regular bra, but you would see the straps. Um, you could do a strapless bra. I mean, definitely over a bathing suit, like I said before. I'll definitely be taking this on my trip to the beach. It's funny because we live on the beach, but we're going to the other coast of Florida for the week because it's just, it's a week to get away and relax where you're on the beach, but you're not going to work, if you get what I mean. This hair is dry. I like never really pull my hair back like this anymore. I usually just have it down or in a clip, but I just wanted it off my face. Um, but yeah, it's a small, it fits really good. You can see it in the back. Uh, the waistband just sits perfect. Like my belly button's right here. So I have the waistband sitting like right above it. It just, yeah, I think it's super flattering. Like I said, it comes in black too. Um, knowing Abercrombie, they'll probably release it in other colors. But last I saw it was just those two colors, but this is really good. As I'm filming this, Abercrombie is doing a sale like buy more, save more, but there's always some sort of sale going on because it'll probably be over by the time you see this. But yeah, super cute. Wish I had more Abercrombie pieces to share, but this is just like the random piece that came by itself. Yeah. Ray, Ron, and I came to Taco Guy. It's just this little local taco shop I was telling you about that we can just walk to. So he's already got his taco of the day. What is it? Delicious. Um, pulled pork, barbecue, queso fresco, cilantro, onions, even mango. We get the point. It's very he, he always he always likes to get the taco of the day on Friday because they, they just do it on Friday and taco of the day. Yeah. So he's starting out with that because he was starving. And then we'll get more. <laughs> Hey guys, we got back from dinner and we picked up little Shay. There's Shay, he got a haircut. Say hi, bug. He's so cute. <laughs> but we picked him up and we went for a walk to our lot. And I didn't bring the camera, so we just got back. But I wanted to share this Athleta tank. I also got this in a coral color. I love it. I just wear nipple covers because it's stretchy. Um, it's just like a stretchy. I feel like it's like a bra top, even though there's no, there's not any like lining in there like a bra, but for me, it just works with the nipple cover. So I also ended up going to get a pedicure today too. Um, yeah, I'm not, wait, I can zoom. Yeah, I hate my feet. But anyways, I did end up getting a pedicure, although I'm, this is horrible, but the girl I usually go to is... On maternity leave and I can't wait for her to come back because I've been going to a new place for months and I just I don't like them like my pinky toe was already messed up because they literally after two minutes 
like took my little toe separators out and told me to go and I'm like okay they're not dry but whatever so but anyways just wanted to share this tank I love to curse Ron's these. laughing at me because I said I need to say good morning to the vlog so it's Saturday morning now and we're driving to the farmers market however I don't even I don't know when it rains last minute like I get I'm sure people look at the radar but I don't even know if anything will be set up but we like to go get our coffee and we pick up coffee for the week like coffee grinds for the week so we figured we'd at least do that we both have our raincoats on <laughs> and I'm going down to Miami to a baseball game with my dad today anyway so we were already limited on time but I think that's gonna be the extent of our Saturday morning <laughs> this not looking good it is very gray I imagine well no I do see some tents set up but yeah. it's not a good morning for a farmer's market <laughs> morning guys it is Sunday morning now I know I wasn't on yesterday I think we stopped uh, filming while we were just like walking around getting our coffee and stuff at the market it ended up that it stopped raining we were able to walk around a little bit and then I came home and went to pick up my dad and spent the whole day with my dad um, down in Miami at a baseball game getting lunch all of that so it was so fun um, didn't bring the camera along now it's Sunday, as I said, and it's, what time is it? It's actually like nine o'clock. <laughs> I'm drinking my coffee. I slept till after eight, which was so nice. Um, I didn't get home till almost 11, and then Ron and I watched something, so stayed up late. It was really good to sleep in. Um, the only thing I have on the agenda today, my camera might be crooked because I have you on a tripod on a pillow. <laughs> The only thing I have on the agenda today is Ron and I were going to a salt room yoga class. We do this once a month. Just There's like one Sunday a month we drive and it's just like it sounds. It's yoga in a salt room. It's a 90 minute class. So um, probably bring you guys for that. I can bring the camera like into the salt room before and after the yoga class, just not during. So at least kind of let you see what the room looks like if you've never um, seen a salt room before but I love it it's just like it feels like such a detoxifying yoga class and because I was sitting all day yesterday I was literally in a car for like six hours round trip plus sitting at a baseball game I feel like yoga class is gonna be so good because this is more of like a stretching class it's not like a vinyasa moving class like I usually go to but yeah, other than that, um, it's the only thing on the agenda today. I did kind of want to do a little like sweep through of my closet. I kind of do like monthly clear outs like so that I never have to do crazy ones. Um, and then I decide if I'm going to like list it to Poshmark or just put it in a thread up box. I have like five or six boxes pending with thread up because once they get your stuff and they take a while to go through it. But it's just easier than me having to list everything and take pictures and all of that. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to drink my coffee. I think I'm going to watch a little YouTube, scroll through Instagram, all that stuff, and I'll check in with you girls later. Hey, girls. So I probably look like exactly the same as when I came on here this morning. It's now like 1 o'clock. Um, we did go for a beach on the walk. Oh, a beach on the walk. We did go for a walk on the beach this morning. I just didn't bring the camera. Um, I'm like in the process of filming a reel for Instagram. I'm trying to come up with like better ideas because Instagram is just changing as far as like, I don't know, it gets frustrating. And I'm trying to come up with like more original like content ideas. If you guys have any ideas, like things you would want me 
to show more on Instagram, like let me know. Um, because it just gets difficult to come up with ideas. But anyways, I wanted you guys to see Shay. Come here, Shay. Come here. Come here. Come here, Beck. Come on. Here. So Shay, I think you saw maybe yesterday that he had got his hair cut, but I wanted to show his little shirt. Very important pup. Shay actually does have like a few, few different clothing items. Um, I don't know how crazy he is about wearing them. He always seems fine. I feel like ever since he got his hair cut this past week, he, he's been like shivering more. And I don't know if he's scared or he's cold. Um, but he's just so cute when he has clothes on. He doesn't want to stay still right now. But I just wanted you to see his cute little shirt. Is he just so cute? But yeah, so I have like about, what time is it? I have like a little over an hour until I have to start getting ready for the salt yoga class. So I think I'm just going to work on some reels and stuff now. It's tough because I don't want to like get ready today. Um, like there's just no point like in getting ready when I'm just going to be going to a yoga class. It's kind of weird when you have something in the middle of the day like that. But then it's also like a good break for my skin and everything like that. So yeah, I'm trying to film things where I'm not having to show my face. Besides this, I'm letting you guys see, you know, the, I really don't care if this is real life. Okay, so the next time you should see me should be on the way to the salt yoga class. Oh, she's getting in his bed. His bed's like on the floor by our bed. So cute. I know I'm biased, but he's so cute. Guys, we're at the... Salt yoga place. Um, it's actually like a place where they do massage and they have a salt room. And this yoga instructor I know does a yoga class in the salt room once a month. Um, it's a yoga class that's kind of more like a yin class, if you're familiar, where it's just like stretching more. We're not doing vinyasa or trying to work up a sweat that just doesn't really go with the salt room. So I'm wearing my Abercrombie Boyfriend oversized tee. It's super comfy. It does get cool in there. So I even bring a sweatshirt. And then I've just got my Lululemon belt bag. But I'll just take you in there and give you a quick look around before class starts. Here is the salt room. As you can see, the wall is literally blocks of salt, like you can feel it. The ground is salt. It's not like salt like we think of eating. And then there's kind of like this altar, I would almost say, where there's different like rocks of salt. And this thing over here is cool makes its own little sound during the class. It's like the little bells move and then actually salt comes out of the ceiling I think too but very cool. Okay we stopped at Publix on the way home and I got veggie straws like the huge bag which this bag is like eight dollars now which is crazy but I love them. I just wanted to quickly show you just put them on the ground. The rest of my so this is my Abercrombie hoodie I put on. What do you want to do with this black blanket? Just put it by the laundry. Um, Abercrombie hoodie that I've had for a long time. And this is that boyfriend tee I was talking about. I know, I'm like such a mess. These are, these are a pair of my Amazon leggings that I love, girls. They have this like V detail. Obviously anything I wear, I always link down below for you. I think these were in a recent like try on video, but I just love these. I'm wearing a small. They're just such a great pair of leggings from Amazon. And I think they come in a ton of colors and just love this V detail. Then always, I just throw on a pair of toy birch millers. You don't wear those in anyways. And then my crossbody bag, which I don't know. I'll have to see. I will link this below. I Last I looked though, they didn't have like any more of this one with the stripes. They just had like these, but I'll link them both for you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat some veggie straws and then I don't know if we're going to eat dinner first or go for a walk, but maybe I'll take you guys out on the walk to get a little look at the beach. Oh, there's a 
little rainbow. All right, so we came down to the beach. It looks like there's some rain coming in. There's some people out. Not too busy, but sometimes when there's rain way out there, it never even makes it to us. Hi, Shay! She's got his shirt off now because, you know, it would be kind of ridiculous walking with it. But he's got a little vest back on. Alright, we like ran back in. It's not raining yet, but it looked like it was going to rain. So I've been trying maybe for like two weeks now, I've been trying to make sure that I get, oh, I thought maybe it was raining. It looks like it's coming from the east and the west, and the west so like something's coming in. Shavy and I ran back. He's so cute. He's going to be all over this vlog. Hi. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I've been trying for a couple weeks to do like 30 minutes of cardio or like some sort of class like if I go to yoga that counts so even though the yoga today was like a yin I'm still counting that because it was 90 minutes so I'll let it count for my 30 but then in addition I have to do I don't have to but I'm trying to do some sort of ab workout and then some sort of like glutes or leg workout I don't really care too much about my arms because I'm lift I'm working on people when I go to the office all the time so I'm like my arms are always getting a workout um and I just feel better after I exercise so the most common YouTube channel that I follow is Mad Fit. I'll link her. Her name is Maddie. She has like 7 million followers. She has videos going back for years. So a lot of times I just like before we went for the walk, I did this 15 minute booty burn. And now I'm just going to find, um, I'm just going to find an ab one of hers. And it's great because you can go to her playlist and search by, um, different body types, right? Like I could choose cardio workouts, uh, beginner workouts, upper body, full body, lower body, ab workouts. So I just choose an ab. And then generally what I do is if I do the video and I really liked it, I give it a thumbs up. That way, if I am looking for a video in the future and I see that I've watched it and I liked it, then I know I want to do it again. If I don't give it a thumbs up, then I know I just wouldn't want to do it again. But I never give thumbs down because I just feel like that's mean, especially now that I'm a YouTube creator. Like it's just, it's mean to thumbs down a video, I think. Like just don't give a thumbs up if you didn't like it. But like when I get thumbs down, I'm just like, okay, like it's fine. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm going to pick one on here. I just want to do something that's like 10 minutes. Okay. I'm actually just going to do a 10 minute six pack abs for total beginners, no equipment. And it's good because she'll always say like, if you need like a booty band or weights or something like that. And like at the office, I have all of those things. And sometimes I'll do the workouts like during my break. So on work days, I don't have to do them when I get home. I'm not really a beginner when it comes to abs because I... <laughs> I've been working out my abs for years <laughs> so it really takes a lot for my abs to be sore like my legs can be sore from a workout but my abs rarely ever are but that's okay so yeah just kind of letting you girls know my routine but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my 10 minute ab workout me again I figured I should just end the vlog here because it is after 7 on a Sunday Mondays they go into the office not really going to be talking about anything. So I feel like this vlog wasn't too exciting, but I don't know. I watch other people's vlogs and I'm okay when they're not super exciting because I'm usually watching them as I'm doing something else. And quite frankly, like I would rather watch a vlog than a TV show. Um, like Ron and I watch TV together, but I don't really watch TV by myself. Like if I'm like sick in bed all day, like then I'll watch TV like I watch what's it called um I want to say steel magnolias but that's not it ah oh, there's this there's something this show with magnolias in it it's gonna drive me crazy um but like that's a show I watched by myself and the last time I watched it was like a day I was just like sick in bed and 
I just wanted to watch, you know, but anyway, gosh, I'm rambling. So hope you enjoyed the vlog. I do have a couple trips coming up this summer. Um, the first one, because it's with my parents, I probably won't vlog, but, and we're well, like a week from now, we'll actually be there. Um, but I'll still be on stories and things like that. And I actually have to prep some videos before we leave. Um, cause the end sale is going to start for me the day that we leave. So I told Ron, I'm like, we might have to go to the Nordstrom in Fort Myers so I could like shop the sale the first day I have to shop it. Um, so let me know down below if you girls shop the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And if you do like what your level is, um, there's like icon, ambassador, influencer, and then everyone, none influencer. So I'm not like at the top, but I'm just like the one before everyone. So I get to start shopping on July 9th. And then I think it opens to the public like a week later, which is good. Cause that'll give me a chance to like, if I can buy things in store, then I can share them with you girls sooner versus having to wait for them to come in the mail. But I am going to do a video like on June 29th, which is this Wednesday, they're doing like a preview. Basically I'll be able to see everything that's in the sale. So that I'm going to do is I'm going to film a video of everything that's in the sale that I have bought in the past, because a lot of times they'll have like Vince Camuto booties year after year. So I thought it, and I did that video last year and I think it was well liked. So I'm going to do that again, especially now that there's more of you watching. Um, so be on the lookout for that to probably go up. Um, well, definitely the first week of July. So I'm going to film that before we leave. So that when we're gone, I can probably get it edited and up. And then I'll definitely do a part two of like everything that I buy. Um, and hopefully that will be with enough time for you girls to then shop. And it's annoying because things do go in and out of style. So I just like things, wish list things, put them in my cart. And then the Nordstrom app will even notify you when things come back. But I'll try to be active on stories during the sale. There's also Prime Day coming up, which which is July 12th and 13th. And I'll be back for that. But I don't know if I have any, I if I'm gonna have any way of knowing what's gonna be in the Prime event or what that's going to be about. So, um, I don't know, but I just know that that's coming up also. So those are like big sales in July coming up and yeah. So I came to end and I kept rambling. Shocker. Oh, second trip of the year. I'm actually going to California at the end of August and that's going to be vlogged for sure because Ron and I are going to San Diego for my cousin's wedding and then when the wedding is over we're renting a car and driving up the coast for like a week so that will be a vlog you'll want to keep a lookout for if any of you are from California or have any recommendations so think of San Diego to San Francisco anywhere in between there that you would recommend like you need to eat here you need to check out this beach or like you need to make sure you stay a night or two here. Any recommendations for that part of California, please put them down below. We are so excited for that. We haven't had like our, we haven't had a good trip since COVID. Um, yeah, well, we went, we went to Charleston last year for our 10 year wedding anniversary, but we, we were able to drive there and we just went for a few days. Um, but we haven't had like a good, like, week long trip since before COVID besides the beach trip we take with my parents every year. But now I'm going to end the vlog for real. Thanks for watching girls and I'll see you soon.